Hey Savvy people, it's Savvy Nick here and today we'll be going through how to install Pop! OS. We'll first download it, then I'll explain how to flash it onto a disk, we'll boot the disk and finally run through how to install it on an empty storage space of your choice. If you're new and stopping by to watch and install today, please take a moment to subscribe below and hit the notification bell for more installs. Let's jump right into it and go ahead and get a download going. You'll go to the System76 website, system76.com. I'll put a link in the description below. System76 is the company that offers Pop! OS. And as you can see here, their goal is they believe that the operating system is the most powerful and versatile tool ever created. And they are building an operating system and they're building an operating system geared towards software developers people who like to make stuff and computer science professionals. So if we scroll down a little bit here, we will see the download section. I didn't see it on the top of their website here. And in this download section, we're gonna go ahead and select between one of the two. Uh, download LTS just means downloading the long-term support version. This is uh, really the stable version and this one is gonna be the latest and greatest cutting edge version. Uh, that you download. So go ahead and let's do the cutting edge one today. Now you have two options here. You can download for Intel AMD. It says right here that what the requirements requirements are for these. At a minimal, you need uh, two gigabytes of RAM, 16 gigabytes of storage, and 64 and a 64-bit processor. Now, if you want, they also have the second option called uh, download NVIDIA. All that means is that the NVIDIA installs a proprietary NVIDIA driver with the installation. I don't need that, so I'm gonna go ahead and select the Intel AMD one. Now we've started downloading the ISO. Now that I've downloaded the ISO, I'm going to launch the Belen Etcher app. This will help me make a bootable disk by flashing an image onto a USB or CD. I'll go ahead and put a link in the description below if you want to download the application. You can also use any other application that can create a bootable disk. First thing we do is select the image. And that will be the image that we just downloaded. So here's the Pop! OS image. It says Pop! OS, it's the 1904 version, AMD 64, 64-bit computer. Go ahead and open that up. Next thing, we'll go ahead and put our USB in so we can flash onto it. Give me a moment. Here we go, it automatically populates the flash media. You can also change it if you have multiple USBs or CDs in your computer. And then finally, all you have to do is hit flash. You might be asked for an administrator password in order to continue, go ahead, put one in. And after you flash the disk, you'll take it over to a computer where you want to install Pop! OS on and insert it. Then you'll have to boot it into your BIOS in order to change the settings around and select the newly created bootable disk to boot first. This is usually done by finding the correct key to boot in a BIOS for your particular computer. Usually keys like F2 or F10, then finding a tab that usually is called boot order, and then exchanging the order so that the bootable disk is the first to boot. After you have that set up, you'll save and exit out of your BIOS, and then you should see a similar screen to this if you've done everything correctly. And if you went ahead and did everything correctly, you'll get a similar screen to this where you can install Pop! OS from. It'll tell you the version. And it's asking you to select a language for the installer. English is fine for me. I'm going to go ahead and put that in. And then what type of English the United States of America is fine for me. American English is great. You can select whatever that you may want to use. Go ahead and hit next. Then the keyboard layout, English US. And you can also test your keyboard if you want to make sure the keys are coming in right go ahead select one and this is just to even go down further what kind of the default is uh, English American English and we will select that as our uh, then you have a couple options here uh, the custom advanced we're beginners so we want the clean installation this says right here note that it erases everything and installs a fresh copy of pop OS 1904. And just to give you some information on Pop! OS, it is a distribution that focuses on privacy, supplying a minimal desktop environment, and uh, packing their system full of practical packages that uh, have access to, that give you access to start developing applications for various languages right away. It's very lightweight, 
and easy to install. Their default desktop environment is GNOME, and it is based off the Ubuntu distribution, which, which is great because it lends itself to a community of great support. Also, if you went ahead and made it this far, go ahead, hit the like button. It really does help me out. Let's continue by hitting the clean install. And then the next choice is to select a drive. So select the drive that you plan on installing Pop! OS on. Mine's right here, it's an 18 gig drive. Again, it's now highlighted in red down here that you're about to erase and install Pop! OS on that specific hard drive or SSD of your choice. Make sure that there's absolutely no information on it. And if you have multiple ones, make sure you select the correct one. Now, um, by default, Pop! OS will encrypt your drive to protect your data on the physical drive. So uh, let's go ahead and just choose a password and give this a try. So we are gonna put a password in and I'm just gonna set the password and now we have encrypted that drive. The system's currently partitioning the drive. The installer has now started and this will take a few moments. And once everything is installed, you will be asked to go ahead and restart your device. Go ahead and do that. Make sure to remove any installation media out of the computer at this point. Since you encrypted your disk, it will ask you for the password which you encrypted the disk with. Go ahead and put that in. Once you're booted back up, you'll be welcomed by the welcome screen. Go ahead, hit next. Again, it's asking you for your keyboard, layout, input method, English US is fine for us. Now it's asking you if you want to enable location services. I'm going to go ahead and disable that. You don't want people knowing where you're at. <laughs> and then go ahead and select your time zone next. Um, I am in, let's see, wow, quite a bit on this. Phoenix today. I'm going to hit next. And if you want to go ahead and connect any online accounts that you have, you can do it on this page. Go ahead, put uh, a new username here. This is about you, so Savvy Nick. And what username you want to use, Savvy Nick's fine by me. Go ahead, hit next. Set up a password for that user that you just created. And it says that you're ready to go after this step. Go ahead and start using the operating system. And here's the account that's set up. Go ahead, put your password in. I'm gonna change my display settings right off the bat. And that looks much better here. So at this point, you've finished up the install and welcome to your brand new Pop! OS desktop. We'll run through a couple things real quick just to kind of see the layout here. Uh, you are able to uh, highlight in the background. It's very hard to see with this color because it blends right in. But if you do it here in the yellow, you can see that you can highlight in the right top. You can adjust your sound settings, your internet settings, look at your battery, change a user, as well as a few uh, settings, options, and shutdown lock that you would expect from a GNOME desktop environment. Here in the middle you have the time and date, updates available, we'll look at that later. Uh, activities, if you hit that you have uh, different workspaces here in the right side. You can search for different applications here in the middle top. And then on the left side you have your little dock where you can 
launch various applications. Uh, Firefox comes standard. This is the pop shop, so you can download applications from there. Here's the rest of the applications that you have. Uh, just some very minimal, simple to use applications that come standard. Anything else that you need, you can go ahead and download from the pop shop or through a terminal. Um, I'm just going to launch the uh, file browser real quick. As you can tell, it looks very similar to what you would maybe see in Windows, uh, similar names as well. That's really it. So if you enjoyed this installation tutorial today, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe below. Let me know what I can improve upon here while going through these installs. And I hope to catch you in another video. Thank you for watching.